Today I'm going to show you how you can run disc brakes in the front with drum brakes in the rear safely. It is not recommended you do this if you do not uh, upgrade the rear brakes. Uh, reason being is that your front wheels will tend to lock up, especially when you're coming kind of hot in the corner. He will lock up and go straight. Trust me, I've done that many times. Anyways, the simple modification well, it's not really a modification, it's actually just swapping the front wheel cylinder to the rear. The reason being is that the, the rear wheel cylinder is usually 17 or 19 millimeter bore, which is less uh, uh, effective for braking. And the front, okay, the front wheel cylinder is 21 millimeters, which is a bigger piston which gives you more braking power at the rear which will which will help you balance the braking power on all four corners and I've, I've been running with the front wheel cylinder for now about two years and let me tell you it's pretty balanced even in the rain I mean I could be coming really hot in the rain when it's slick and slippery and uh, I slam on the brakes and boy do I have braking power stops on a dime without no lockup and that's the important part no lockup you got I would say a perfectly balanced braking system and uh, I'm going to show you how to do this okay since you're upgrading your drum brakes to front disc brakes only this is probably a good time to uh, to order maybe drop spindles okay now if you have drop spindles from a drum drop spindles from a, from a drum set they will not work with disc brakes the reason being is that this caliper gets in the way and the only way you can make it work is if you do something like this customize it cut it and then weld the back part of this arm um, but that's a different show I'm getting off topic here but if you're upgrading you might think about just also getting the drop spindles it'll save you a lot of headaches later on if you want to drop the vehicle okay we already installed the front disc brakes on this bug as you can see there's the caliper there's the new disc yeah, you can see all this, still see the scratches on the surface anyways um, I didn't I didn't show you how I installed it because it's pretty straightforward the whole object is to you know get a balanced braking system and right now we've got too much clamping power on this bug on the front it'll lock up if I'm coming hot off a turn it'll lock up it'll especially in the rain scary so we've already went ahead and loosened this guy so we can replace the wheel cylinder you know you could remove all the bolts and just make it a lot easier but I might be able to get away with it just like that so here's here's the project we're gonna change this guy for a bigger piston Okay, here's our new wheel cylinder. This is a 21 millimeter um, mass, uh, a wheel cylinder that is supposedly the same thing as identical as that one. It should slide right in. It should just go zoom, without you having to adjust your brakes or anything like that. Um, and then just bleed them and you're done you are done um, these are like I said these these are from the front of that ve of this vehicle okay they should fit I think I believe most bugs will have this one fit in the rear I'm not too sure about the super classic ones like uh, pre 67s uh, 68s and up I know that you can put them up in front okay let's go ahead and change this out Well, as you can see, it bolts right in. It drops right in. 
no modification at all that you have to do. So here it is. See, there's a little one. You can see the diameter difference. See. Okay, so that 21 millimeter uh, cylinder should give you enough clamping power to balance your front ones, balance with your front ones. Okay, that's pretty much it. Good luck with the project.